What can I do for you? <laughs> well, there's a lot of it. Hey guys, welcome to another fun episode of LJ's Garage. I am sitting in a 2020 Mercedes-Benz GLC 43 AMG. If you're on the market for a compact SUV slash crossover, then this is something that you're gonna wanna keep on your list. And if you want something that is equally fantastic, fun, comfortable, luxurious, and all those things wrapped in one well-rounded Mercedes-Benz package, then you got this. And as I'm talking, the Mercedes-Benz thing is trying to interrupt. Hey, Mercedes. What can I do for you? <laughs> well, there's a lot of it. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, turn on my heated seats. Please repeat. Turn on heated seats. I'm switching on the seat heating. She's switching on the seat heating. So you know what that means? Toasted buns. But that's just one of the many features that this has to offer. And so I'm gonna stop saying, hey Mercedes, so she can stop interrupting me as I'm trying to film another episode of LJ's Garage. And if you're new to the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button. We're on the road to 10,000 subscribers and it would be a pleasure to have you on board. So let's talk specs really quick. Under the hood is a three liter V6 by turbo, which means there are two of them turbo chargers. You're gonna get 385 horsepower and 384 foot-pounds of torque. It'll have a 17.4 gallon tank. Zero to 60 is somewhere around 4.7 seconds. And you can expect to seat about five people comfortably. Oh, and if you're curious, you'll get 18 miles per gallon city and about 25 miles per gallon highway, which is reasonable numbers for this kind of power and this size compact crossover. Oh, my seats are on. I was wondering why I was getting warm in here. I thought it was just because I'm hot. And then to put that power down to the ground, you're gonna have four wheel drive or all wheel drive, depending on who you ask. But this is Mercedes Benz's formatic system. It's tried and true, it's one of the best, and it'll keep you out of trouble. And it'll certainly put this power down. As you can imagine with that zero to 60, this thing is also not the lightest. It's around 4,100 pounds, somewhere in that ballpark. So considering it's zero to 60 time, I think it does pretty well for what it is. And if you are someone that likes to do the occasional towing, you have jet skis, ponies, horses, goats, whatever that you might like to pull. Um, I can't think of anything else. A little camper, maybe. This will tow 3,500 pounds. And before I hop on the outside and show you what this thing looks like and talk a little bit more about some of the finer details, special thanks to Voss Toyota over here in Beaver Creek, Ohio. If you're in the Dayton region, Columbus, Cincinnati, and you're looking for some adventure and some nice Toyotas, be sure to stop in and ask for Morgan. Without them, I wouldn't be able to show you what cool things this has to offer. So thanks again, you guys, and let's get to the outside. And here is what the outside looks like. Like I said, this one is a bi-turbo, and you will know that because you'll see the bi-turbo formatic badge right there. As far as your wheels go, you're gonna have these pretty nice wheels, and they are 21s. And the reason why these are so large is because behind them, you're gonna have these nice AMG brakes, which is all part of the AMG package. So it, you know, if you're gonna drive fast, you're gonna want a car that can slow down just as fast. So take a look, it's nice, very sharp. You're gonna have the little running board right there, which doesn't really get in the way. It doesn't add too much, but I think what it does is it gives it kind of like that more SUV stance. And overall, it wraps everything together nicely. This color is sharp. This color is great. I'm not the biggest blue fanatic, but I do like this a lot. Headlights, bam. And then you're also gonna have this nice grill, which I think it looks nice. A lot of people give BMW a hard time about their grills, but I think this is a nice big grill that looks great. It complements this car very well. Take a look at the body lines, nice and crisp. This is very, very sharp. Side folding mirrors, and just a little tiny bit of chrome to remind you that this is a luxury vehicle. And then back here, you're gonna see your AMG badge so let everyone know that you drive something fast. And then you have your GLC badge on the right-hand side. So overall, pretty nice tail lights, pretty good back end. I mean, this thing, it's sharp. And if you're someone that likes wide bodies, you like your cars a little bit on the thicker side, you're gonna see that this has hips. So these hips are meant for something. Uh, and these hips, they, uh, they don't tell the truth. No, they don't lie. That's it. And then this is what your key fob looks like. Hold. And then bam, cargo area. You're gonna have a good bit of trunk space back here. 
at least in what I consider a good bit. It is just a compact crossover, so don't expect to be able to fit your whole house in here. And something that's a little bit high end that you wouldn't think that this has is if you look over on this little left side right here, this is how you lower the suspension from back here. So you push that down and then just give it a second. And you can probably see it a little bit. But it is moving. And it's going. And it's going. This does have air suspension if you haven't figured that out. But look at that. And I'll do another walk around really quick to show you what the stance of this looks like in this lowest setting. And the reason for that is so you can have a nice low loading floor. So compared to what it was prior, I'll show you a before and I'll show you an after. And you can see, this is so nice to be able to just load things in. And then if you're wondering, you do get a little bit of extra space under here. This is nice. That's a good bit of space. You can fit a lot of things under there. A lot of things. And then something else that you get, you get a nice little tonneau cover. And you can hide all your valuables back here. Let's close this up. And then you can fold the seats with the push of a button. And now you have extra storage. Dun, dun, dun. All right, so this is locked right now. And the cool thing about this is all four doors have keyless entry. So you can just put your hand through there and unlock. It is really nice back here. This leather is very plush. And I'm sitting back here. I am 5'9". Some days I do round up to six feet tall because five foot nine, basically six foot. And I'm sitting back here comfortably, plenty of headroom. And you'll notice that I do have a little moonroof back here. And so the back passengers, they're not forgotten about. They get lots of love back here. You do have climate vents as well as you're gonna be able to take advantage of the great sound system, which we'll talk about whenever I move back up front. But other than that, in the center console, pull this down. Right here, you're gonna have your cup holders. Bam, bam, they're nice and hidden. So if you don't need them, they're not there. Oh gosh, stop it, stay, stop it. There you go. And then you get a little cubby to hide some stuff in there. Legal things. Close that up. Like I said, you do get vents back here. You can open and close them. Unfortunately, since this is a smaller car, you're not gonna get that extra zone climate control back here. But take a look at how gorgeous this, this setup is. Everything is well done. This is probably one of my new favorites. If you're afraid to work on your own cars, this is not for the faint of heart. This is in the lower suspension setting. So on this back end, you'll see the back is low. Just how low? Pretty low. And then compared to the front end, bam. It's about six inches. And this is what everything looks like from the driver's perspective. You can see, got a little wood grain. You got nice leather dash, and then leather all over. You got ambient lights, which are set for purple. I like the color purple, especially for ambient lighting. I just, you know, like I said, I'm not a blue person, but purple, purple just works. I do have a couple features that I wanna point out. On the left-hand side, you'll see you got your lighting controls. Those are right there, all familiar, easy to get to. On the left-hand side, this is where you're gonna find your heated seat button. This is where you would have vented or cool seats if that was an option that you chose. This is where you're gonna find all your driver seat adjustments, as well as on the left-hand side of those is where you'll find your memory seat. So you can program up to three, one for you, your wife, and your mistress, or whatever. Like I said, you can fold your mirrors. So bam, mirrors are folded with the push of a button, but right now they're set to fold as soon as this is locked. So the steering wheel, most of the buttons are pretty self-explanatory, nothing to dive into. You got your cruise control stuff on the left, and then the right side, but what you'll notice is that you've got this little guy right there, which is kind of like a touchpad, but you've got another one on the left. This one on the left-hand side is for the main cluster, and then this one is for this guy. So as I'm gonna swipe over to the right, left, whatnot, it's not my favorite system, but as I swipe, you'll see that it controls that. So you could do that, or you can use the touch screen, or option three is you can use this guy and it does have the haptic feedback, so you can hear the touches, the vibrations, and make sure that you are indeed telling it to do something. So now, let's talk about customizing this. So if you want to, you see this right-hand side that shows your maps. If you take your finger and you roll all the way over to that to where that circle is now highlighted, you can do a couple things in there. You can go to your fuel, like your fuel gauge, and if you wanted to, you can just do your RPM gauge. You 
can go down to your g-force gauge boost gauge and speed so there's all that tire pressure on your paddle shifters though you'll see you got down and up behind that though you'll see you got your park reverse neutral drive so you can go into vehicle settings we'll start here and you can go to like your air suspension normal and raised we'll go into traffic signs so it does read traffic signs and it'll tell you what the speed limits are and you can set it to warn you if you care but don't do that we speed around these parts active brake assist attention assist blind spot assist all self-explanatory won't dive too deep into there we'll go into vehicle easy entry exit makes it so that when you turn the car off your seat goes back and forth and the steering wheel comes up makes it easy easy to get out of there belt adjustment is pretty cool so you can turn it on and what it does is as you sit in the car it'll tighten the seat belt just a little bit and just give you that nice perfect tension to make sure that you know you're not going to fall out of your seat belts or something lighting systems like i said ambient lighting you can click on that to get even more detailed change it to purple sky which is what it's at right now so we got the color you can do multicolor animations you could do welcome effects climate settings all of this like there's so much that you can do with the ambient lighting it's there's just so much so much i man i wish it was nighttime so i could show you some of this coolness but that's pretty much all you get in that part and you've got a couple different options so let's go back over to this side sorry this is a lot go into sport you can do the sport gauges you can go into super sport i will say mercedes has some of the nicest digital displays and i stand by that i'm a big mercedes fan i just tend to buy bmws that's all and then owner's manual boring but yes that's some of the key stuff in here um you can go in see some apps mercedes me uh smartphone connect android auto apple carplay all those things are going to be there you can click on performance to go into your amg settings you'll see your acceleration braking you can go into your engine see all those things fuel consumption that's all there but yeah and then dynamic select so in here if you want and you don't like any of the preset driving modes you can go in and program your own for individual so you can make your drive settings you can do moderate sport dynamic if you want your transmission set to manual mode or automatic mode you can go into dynamics and adjust how you want the car to handle suspension same thing comfort sport sport plus and then your exhaust system, you can do balanced or powerful. I recommend just leaving it on powerful. All right, so I've got the exhaust in normal mode. Sounds pretty good. Now it's in performance. Sounds just as nice. There's the AMG track page. Not much to dive into there, but if you go to it, it'll tell you that it's only for the race track. It'll have a bunch of different stopwatches, timers, all of that, some tracks already in here and see. And then these, you can change all of this stuff around and adjust it. See, like I just reorganized it. So you do have that option. And then media, navigation, everything else you'll pretty much learn if you do end up buying one of these. And if you do buy one of these, I guarantee you, you'll love it. And then down here, you're going to have your adjustments for your temperatures, so you can adjust your climate control. I like that Mercedes still makes these physical buttons. You got your fan speed, you can just hit auto and keep everything done itself. And then on this side, you're going to have the passenger controls, so there's that. Let's turn this down, otherwise you guys can't hear me. But the air conditioning in this is fantastic. Down here, you're going to have your telephone option, bam. You got your navigation preset button, bam and then you have your radio and media. All right, so that's that. Then if you click this little guy, that's just gonna be straight to your quick access menu that allows you to do some of your easy settings. So you'll have all that right there. Then right here, you're gonna have your cup holders. You're gonna have a little wireless charging pad, USB-C, and that makes everything pretty nice. This charging pad is actually pretty deep. I've got a Galaxy S22 Ultra. I'm just gonna slide that in here so you guys can see that it will fit your phone. You know, as long as you have something around the size of like an iPhone Pro Max, that'll fit in there. Then here, this little trackpad, I'm not a huge fan of. It takes getting used to, but it's it's really not bad. 
it's not as bad as like Lexus's trackpad when they had that, but it's it takes a little getting used to. That's all I can say. On the left hand side, this is where you all your quick controls are, and your right hand side another quick control. So you got your exhaust right there. So I've got that exhaust in balance mode. You can put it in powerful mode when the light's red. Then you're going to have your stop start right under that. Sorry about the glossiness. It's reflective a little bit there. Your cameras, push that. And then bam, you got your cameras there. So you got all the front angles, front cameras, side cameras, back view. So yeah, you really shouldn't hit anything ever in this. You know, I would say that you shouldn't. You even got the parking assistant on the left. You drive forward, look for parking spaces. It'll help you get into them, all of that. So pretty fancy. I mean, like I said, this has all the latest, greatest tech and more. Um, this is how you change your drive modes. So you'll see that you got sport, comfort, individual, slippery mode. And then go down a little further, you got Sport Plus. So then in the center console, you push this little button, it opens split. Pretty nice, deep charging port. Up here, you're gonna have your little vanity mirror. Hey, what's up? Close that up. You're gonna have a little sunglasses holder right there. Then under here, you do have your little garage button, so that's all there. Your sunroof controls, and like I said, moonroof slash sunroof, and you get your little sunshade. Keeps out just enough, I would say. Unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to finish this video because someone came in to take this for a test drive. If it's still there, I will have a part two to this video. But in the meantime, thank you guys so much for checking out another video.